thing, isn't it? All of <laughs> they think we're lucky. I mean, <laughs> they think we're enjoying this. <laughs> they don't know, Olive. <laughs> oh, they don't know what it's like. I'd be immensely grateful to you if you didn't clean up right now. What? It's only a few things. I mean, can you imagine? They actually envy us. <laughs> Lawrence, just leave everything. Leave everything alone. I'm not through dirtying up for the night. Well, it's just a few dishes. I mean, what, you want me to leave them here all night? You know what? I don't care if you have them cleaned by your dentist. Just don't make me feel guilty about it. I'm asking you to do it. That's why you make me feel guilty. You're, 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 you're always in my bathroom. You're straightening up my towels. When someone's smoking, you follow them around with an ashtray. Last night I found you on the kitchen floor and you're scrubbing on your hands and knees, shaking your head. Footprints, footprints. <laughs> I didn't say they were yours. Well, they are mine. Damn it. I have feet. They make prints. What do you want me to do? Climb across the countertop? No. I want you to walk on the floor. Can I? That would be great. I am just trying to keep the place livable. I'm not trying to irritate you. Okay, then don't wipe the telephone. Some of my favorite fingerprints are on that telephone. I was wondering how long it would take. How long what would take? Before I got on your nerves. I didn't say you got on my nerves. Well, it's the same thing. You said I irritated you. No, you said you irritated me. I didn't say it. Okay, so then what did you say? I don't know what I said. Ugh. What difference does it make what I said? It doesn't make any difference. I was just repeating what I thought you said. Well, don't repeat what you thought I said. Repeat what I said. Oh my God, you're so irritating. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Olive. I don't know what's wrong with me. And don't pout. If you want to fight, we'll fight, but don't pout. Fighting, I win. Pouting, you win. You're right. I mean, everything you say about me is absolutely right. And don't give in so easily. I'm not always right. Sometimes you're right. You're right. I, I do do that. I always figure I'm in the wrong. Only this time, you are in the wrong. And I'm right. Oh, just leave me alone! And don't sulk. It's the same thing as pouting. I know. I know. <laughs> You're not going to cry, are you? You know, I think all those tears dripping on your arm, that's what caused the bursitis. No. You know what you are, Florence? You're just a human accident. Oh, yeah. Who just happens to cook and clean and take care of this house? I, mean, I save us a lot of money, don't I? Thank you, Payne Weber. Okay, fine. I may be impulsive, but at least I'm not a grouch. We have our good times too, don't we? Good times? Yeah. Finding a clear picture on channel two is not my idea of whoopee. Oh, what are you talking about? I've spent enough time watching you put paper strips between your toes. The night is made for much better things. Like what? Like the smell of a good cigar circling under your nose. Listen to me. Listen to me good. There are two sexes in this world, and we are one of them. I didn't, I, I didn't make this up. But nature demands that sometimes our sex 
has to get in touch with their sex. Okay, you mean men, right? If you want to give it a name, then yes, men. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I haven't thought about men in weeks. I fail to see the humor in that. Okay, what? You don't think I find men attractive? Okay, I will let you know. I find plenty of men attractive. <laughs> like who? Name one. Well, um, oh, I always thought Adelaide Stevenson was attractive. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, he doesn't date anymore. Florence, we cannot stay in this house every single night like this. Well, I mean, listen, I intend to go out. I, I'm lonely too. Jeez, I, I was just separated. I, I've only been separated a few weeks. Give me a little break. What am I asking? I just, I, I, I would just like to have dinner one night with a couple of nice guys. Yeah, and who would I call, huh? I mean, the only single man I know is my hairdresser. And he's into other things, huh? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> well, okay, leave that to me. There are two brothers who live in this building. They're Spanish. They used to live in Spain. Yeah. yeah. There are a million laughs. Well, how do you know? I was trapped in the elevator with them last week. They asked me to dinner. Oh, this is going to be perfect. No, no. What do they look like? Real gentlemen. They wore double-breasted suits. Double-breasted suits doesn't mean you're a gentleman. These have cuffs on the pants. But are they young? Are they old? Are they good-looking? I'm trying to tell you these are two classy Spanish guys. Hmm. Now which one do I get? Take whoever you want. When they walk in, you can just point to the Spaniard of your choice. Oh, what am I going to say to them? Well, you relax. They're easy to talk to. You know, I talked to them for half an hour and I didn't even understand a word they said. They don't speak English? They speak perfect English. Every once in a while, just promise me one thing. What? Don't call one of them Sydney. Forget about Sydney. It's Manolo and Jesus. Manolo and Jesus? You don't pronounce the J. Where is there a J in Manolo and Jesus? Stop worrying, will you? We're going to have a night out on the town. They know the best Spanish restaurants in all of New York. Oh, no, no, I am not going out to a restaurant and being seen by everyone in the city. No. You think people are lining the streets just to see who you go out with? I'm not talking about my friends, my family. I mean, what about my mother-in-law? What if she walks in and sees me drinking tequilas with Manolo and Jesus? Your mother-in-law lives in Florida. Well, this could be the one night she comes to town. Florence, I need a date. Really bad. You know what? Time is going by. My hormones are going tick-tock, tick-tock. Give me your hand. Do you feel my breast? Yes. Okay, well that's not good enough. I need a bigger hand with knuckles. Please. All right, all right, but I'm not outside. We'll eat here, huh? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Florence, this is not a date about food. This is about nibbling fingertips. This is about fighting for a woman's honor and making sure we lose. No, I do not intend to lose anything. I mean, come on. 
You want dinner? I'll make dinner. Oh, I'll make a, a, a roast chicken, Valencia, with a Spanish rice, eggplant, squash, potato dumplings, and a lemon souffle. Huh? <laughs> Are you crazy? You'll blow them up. No. They'll need help getting off the couch. I want them romantic, not diabetic. No, no, my food is light. Come on, my food is fluffy. Don't tell me how to cook. You want them to nibble on your fingers? I'll spread pate on them. <laughs> oh, here, hold on. Who are you calling? My kids. I want them to know what I'm doing in case their friends tell them their mother's a tramp. Okay, so wait, um, it was uh, Manolo and who? Jesus. How do you spell that? J-E-S-U-S. -S. That's Jesus. Ah, his name is Jesus? It's a different Jesus. Will you stop worrying? You didn't tell me his name was Jesus. Jeez, I'll, I'll make something simpler. Maybe some fish and loaves or something. Okay, kiss me. Good night. Mm -hmm. I love you. Good night. Sayonara. Happy trails. Fare thee well, my dear. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> okay, my